Library of Heaven's Path Chapter 35, What is Happening? You Nonsense Seeing the crowd breaking out into a commotion, cold sweat dripped down from Manager Wu's forehead. He gritted his teeth and bellowed. He must not admit to it now. The moment he did, Hong Tian Pavilion's reputation would be ruined, and his future will be gone with it as well. If only he knew that this teacher was a gourmet, he would have never agreed to Shang Bin's request even if he was beaten to death. You are claiming that what I said was nonsense. Zhang Xian glanced at him. Indeed. You said that these dishes are imitations, but you don't have evidence to back up your claim. Without evidence, your words are nonsense. Do you think that I wouldn't dare to have you arrested for the crime of slander? Manager Wu said ferociously. Evidence. You want evidence? Fine. Seeing how this fellow was adamant to push on, Zhang Xian shook his head. Initially, he didn't want to pursue the matter any further. After all, Shen Bai Ryu was the one treating, so what doesn't matter to him how much the dishes cost? However, who knew that this fellow would stubbornly claim that he was slandering them? Since that was the case, Zhang Xian was resolute to prevent him from getting away scot-free. I have already provided the evidence of the few dishes before. Everyone can inspect their food carefully based on the unique traits that I have just brought up. Of course, it's okay if he is reluctant to acknowledge it. After all, even if you all know all these, some gourmets will still find it difficult to distinguish between them, needless to say, the rest of you. However, Zhang Xian surveyed the surroundings before casually lifting up the most expensive bottle of wine on the table up and declared, everyone would be able to easily discern the authenticity of this bottle of wine. Discern its authenticity? Drunk Immortal is the speciality of Hong Tian Pavilion. This is a fact known by everyone. Many people specially made the trip here just for the wine. Are you trying to say that the wine is fake as well? A customer couldn't resist asking. Indeed, Drunk Immortal is the trademark of Hong Tian Pavilion, so surely it can't be faked? If this turns out to be an imitation as well, I doubt that there can be anything real in here. Another customer spoke up. The wine that was offered to Zhang Xian's table previously was called Drunk Immortal and its sale was exclusive to Hong Tian Pavilion. The wine was rich, delicious, and had an exquisite fragrance. This wine played a crucial role to the current reputation and scale of Hong Tian Pavilion. If even this wine turned out to be an imitation, that would be going way overboard. I've already said that it would be easy to discern it. As though he had expected the crowd to doubt his words, Zhang Xian simply responded with a faint smile and raises the bottle. The words Drunk Immortal are written on the cover of the bottle. If this is truly the Drunk Immortal from Hundred Well Brewery, it would indeed be worth 1,200 gold coins. But it is a pity that the bottle is filled with green crag brew from Purple Bamboo Gazebo. These two wines are similar in terms of their scent and their texture. However, the former is brewed using the valuable and rare rooted earth grass and green cicada heart leaf and it nourishes the body when drunk. On the other hand, if one drinks too much of the green crag brew, the venom from the fallen floral grass would attack one's heart and lungs. Over time, the function of one's organs will deteriorate, causing one's cultivation to fall rapidly, thus ending their lives tragically. Using green crag brew to imitate fallen immortal? I've heard of green crag brew. If I remember correctly, its taste is similar with fallen immortal. I've always trusted in the quality of the goods of Hong Tian Pavilion. I would have never imagined that they would fool their customers like that. This is a fraud. I will be reporting this to the Academy so that an investigation will be conducted. The customers who were watching the commotion, upon hearing that they have been scammed, cried out indignantly. Just because you said that it is green crag brew, doesn't mean that it would necessarily be it. Where's your evidence? Manager Wu squeezed out these words between his gritted teeth. Glancing at him, Zhang Xian replied calmly, 
wine can be ignited with fire. I haven't touched much of the alcohol in it, so you can ignite this one. The true fallen immortal should exude an alluring fragrance, similar to lilies and musk. On the other hand, for green crag brew, a charred odor would be released. All those who have noses should be able to discern between the two easily. You. Manager Wu's body went stiff. The other party's words were completely accurate. However, this method of distinguishing between the two wasn't very well known. Only the makers of Green Crag Brew and their vendors were aware of it. Even Wu Zhou himself only heard of it coincidentally. How could this fellow know of this method as well? Actually, the wine given to other customers were all true fallen immortal. After all, this was the trademark speciality of the tavern. After hearing Shang Bin's plan, he intentionally passed this fake wine over to the young man, thinking that he would be unable to discern between the two, so that he would be able to make an earning out of this. In the end, not only was the other party aware of it, he was even able to state the method to distinguish between the two clearly. If Zhang Xian were to prove himself right, it would be difficult to explain to everyone that what they're drinking was the authentic fallen immortal. Why? You don't dare to give it a try. Seeing the look of panic on the other person's face, Zhang Xian smiled faintly. He casually turned the wine bottle over, allowing the wine to spill onto the floor. Then, he took out an ignitable paper roll and snapped his fingers. Xiong Xiong. When the wine on the floor came into contact with the flames, it lit up and instantaneously, a stinging odor assaulted the noses of the crowd, leaving them faint-headed. How pungent! This was what we were drinking? Hongtian Pavilion really doesn't respect their customers. For it to be so pungent, it must be poisonous. Refund, refund. I've been drinking your wine here for three years. Not only do I want you to return it all back to me, I want additional compensation as well. The entire tavern exploded into an uproar. Everyone rushed forward. What? What is happening? CAO Xiong and Shang Bin felt like they were going mad by the sudden turn of events. They had specially set up this ploy to humiliate Zhang Xian. In the end, not only was he not humiliated, he even managed to stand out instead. Instead, they were shamed like clowns. What is happening? What is happening your head? By the side, Manager Wu had just barely kept his emotions in check, but upon hearing those words, he lost control and kicked them both. Peng. Peng. He was a fighter six Dan Pig's Realm expert. Before the two of them could even react, the sight before them went dark and they crashed onto the ground. A giant footprint was left on each of their faces. It was no wonder that Manager Wu would go berserk. If it weren't for these two fellows, such an incident would not have occurred. He could already foresee that not only would his career come to an end, he would also have to face the rage of Elder Hong Hao. After this incident, Hong Tian Pavilion's reputation would definitely go into the gutters and their business would no longer be as prosperous as before. The cause of this entire incident was him accepting the request of these two fellows to teach the lad, who was last in the teacher qualification examination, a lesson. How could it be possible for this lad to be the last? Even the first in the examinations couldn't possibly be so incredible. If only he knew in advance that this master had such powerful eyes of discernment. Not only would he have not caused Zhang Xian any trouble, he would have been praying for him to not cause him any. Damn it! Looks like there isn't anyone free to collect money from us right now, let's go. Seeing how the situation had descended into chaos, Zhang Xian signaled to Shen Bai Ryu, who was still in a state of daze, and walked out of the tavern. Now that the problem had been settled, staying here would just result in more trouble. Thus, it would wiser for them to simply leave. On. Shen Bai Ryu hurriedly caught up to him. Seeing the young man in front of her, her eyes were filled with complex emotions. All along, she thought that he was a trash, an ignorant fellow who was the shame of the teaching community. 
After half a day of interaction, she realized that, if he was a trash, then what was she? Didn't it mean that she was nothing at all? Gritting her teeth, she walked up. With disbelief still reflecting within her beautiful pitch black eyes, she asked, you seem to be quite knowledgeable about food. Could it be that, you're a gourmet? 